In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh!'s past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible. Welcome to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!! If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Here it is, the culmination of all of our Edison explorations, a semi-faithful interpretation of the final round of SJC Edison. This utilizes historical precedent mixed with modern twists on the decks that appeared to give you what I think is going to be a hell of a match. I am playing Quick Draw Dandy Warrior, and I am not playing Jeff Jones's list for a very simple reason. I want to show off Volcanic Shell. In the interim between SJC Edison and now, there has been a lot of thought put into this deck specifically. Quick Draw Dandy Warrior is maybe the best deck in the format, but it is extremely hard to play. If you've been following my trials and tribulations on Twitch, you know how much difficulty I've had putting this bad boy together, and I think we've got it to a point where I am confident piloting it. There is so much going on here, and I don't want to miss a thing. We've got two copies of Caius, a card trooper, a battle fader, and the hallmark of the deck, two Dandelion. Now, Dandelion does everything for the deck. You have lines with Debris Dragon, where you go Debris Dragon into Dandelion in order to go into a Black Rose Dragon, blow up your opponent's field, and retain two tokens on your side of the field afterwards. That protects your life points while you go for future plays as well. We've got Gores, of course, which means that we never really have to commit too much to the board and can get the most value out of the Black Rose as we possibly can. Lone Fire Blossom both for Dandelion and for Titanial Princess of Camellias, but this card is even good to draw because you will be cycling Dandelion so frequently that you will routinely have tokens on your side of the field to either tribute for her effect or for her summon. Remember, the Dandelion tokens can only not be tributed the turn they are special summoned. We've got Quick Draw Synchron. This is the heart and soul of the deck. Quick Draw Pitching Dandelion is functionally an FTK. You get a couple of tokens, you go into a Drill Warrior, and you are off to the races. Next turn you can add the quick draw back you can add the dandelion back you can do almost anything volcanic shell is a fantastic pair for quick draw as well quick draw pitching volcanic shell trigger volcanic shell effect get a volcanic shell normal the shell synchro the shell and the quick draw into a drill warrior activate shell add a shell to hand pitch drill warriors effect with volcanic shell you've just gotten an unbeatable advantage engine for the low low cost of zero cards in your hand right goes in here as well yes it's a fantastic piece of removal but it's also a target for charge of the light brigade which mills cards from your deck. Very important to randomly be hitting stuff like Dandelion over the course of the game. Sangan, find the Dandelion, find the Debris Dragons, Super Nimble Mega Hamster, find the Rikos, Titanial, Volcanic Shell, Book of Moon, Charge of the Light Brigade, Cold Wave, and Heavy Storm are in here because if you can resolve your combo over the course of one turn, nothing your opponent is going to be able to set is going to be able to contest it, especially if you can do something like uh, set up a repeatable Debris Dragon adding to hand off of a Drill Warrior. Foolish Burial, uh, Mystical Space, Typhoon, Triple Pot of Avarice, you fill up the grave like nobody's business, Double Bottomless Trap Hole, Double Dimensional Prison, Mirror Force, Solemn Judgment, Torrential Tribute, tra Trap, Dust Shoot. In the side deck, we've got Botanical Lion as an additional Lone Fire Blossom target. We've got two Cyber Dragon for our Khmer Tech Fortress Dragon, which will come up in this match for sure. We've got Double DD Crow, we've got Legendary Jujitsu Master, Double Vanity's Fiend, Brain Control, Lightning Vortex, Triple Dust Tornado, Transmigration Prophecy, and Trap Stun. In the extra, we've got two Chimera Tech. This card was just released and wipes the field of gadgets. We've got Ancient Fairy Dragon, a great way to get Necro Valleys off the field. We've got Black Rose Dragon, always part of your combo. You're blowing up the board and then you are going from there. Drill Warrior. Some of you have never played with this card and it is maybe the most powerful, least remembered synchro of all time. Drill Warrior can have its attack to attack directly. And then once per turn, you can discard a card, banish this card, and next standby phase, it returns and you add a monster from your graveyard to your hand. If you're pitching a shell to cycle for a Debris Dragon, you've won the game. If you're getting a Debris Dragon ever, you've won the game. Using Drill Warrior's effect to add back Debris Dragon with a Dandelion Engrave means that you don't even have to commit to attacks with Drill Warrior because they could potentially Dimensional Prison it. As a result, you can just wall up with tokens forever going into a 7 Dragon every turn. It's almost unstoppable. 
Iron Chain Dragon is here as a six, as well as Junk Archer, Nitro Warrior, and Turbo Warrior. These are all important because Quick Draw Synchron can only summon monsters with Synchron material, though it counts for everything. Finally, we've got Stardust Dragon and Red Dragon Archfiend as our eights. I am so excited to show this off. Nothing I describe in deck selection is going to do this deck justice. You'll have to see what it's capable of in the games proper. I hope I can replicate Jeff Jones' success on this deck, but it's going to require a lot of quality gameplay. Wish me luck. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 412 of what it seems like is Edison format. To be fair, these episodes have been fantastic. Tons of diversity, tons of just new interesting decks to be able to show off, and we still have plenty more. So if you want to keep seeing more of Edison format, Joseph and I will happily oblige. We're actually showing off two titans of the format. He already went over his quick draw dandy warrior, probably playing volcanic shell list, but he might play the original, so I don't know about that. But we are going to be playing Machina Gadget. This is exciting because I think this is actually my first foray into playing gadgets in all of the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Joseph was playing the gadget lists up until this point, and gadgets are one of my favorite old school archetypes. I just love the advantage that they generate, and so it's a much different take, a much slower list compared to something that Joseph is playing that's much more explosive, and both of these decks are just fierce. So let's go ahead and do the card by card. So first up, we've got three of each of the gadgets, green, yellow, and red. If you don't remember from previous episodes, each of them on normal or special summon, allows you to add another gadget of a respective color to hand. Green adds red, red adds yellow, and yellow adds green. And that way you're able to constantly keep churning through your deck and getting more cards and always making it so that you're up on your opponent in card advantage. And it makes it so that cards like Dimensional Prison aren't as good because even if your gadget hits, if they get rid of it, you just have another one for the following turn. So as long as you see one of them, you're basically gonna have normal summons for the next nine turns. Next, we have the Machina cards. Two copies of Fortress. This card is a house. You can discard machine monsters whose total levels equal eight or more, and then special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. Now, notably, it counts itself. So if you pitch this and a gadget, you can then special summon this card directly from your hand after it's pitched, of course, for its cost. It's 2,500 attack, and if it's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you target a card your opponent controls to destroy it, and before resolving an opponent's monster effect that targets this face-up card, think of something like maybe Caius or Ryko, look at your opponent's hand and discard one card from their hand. Now that I think about it, Ryko may not target. We'll have to check that, but this card is just massive. It's a big force to deal with, and it's just one of the reasons why this deck was so strong. Three copies of Gear Frame. Gear Frame can search any Machina, so it's essentially like orange gadget, except it doesn't search the gadget specifically. It also has a union effect where it can attach to one of your other machines, and by doing so, it makes it that it can't be destroyed at least one time. You destroy Gear Frame instead. This can get around some pesky things like Ally of Justice Cataster, and then we have Machina P Peacekeeper. This, when it's destroyed on the field and sent to the graveyard, you can add a union monster from deck to hand. This will search gear frame in the early stages of the game if we have this, but then it has the same union effect where it can attach to something to be able to protect it. So this card may seem a bit innocuous, but it is definitely relevant, especially to get the Machina train online. That's it for the monsters, and then we get to the spells. Three creature swap. We are playing some relatively small monsters, so being able to creature swap like a Peacekeeper or any of our gadgets for something like a Caius or a big Synchro monster, that seems like a pretty good exchange to me. A limiter removal can go for damages, actually comes up in another application, we'll talk in a second here. One MST, three Noblemen of Crossout, this is just devastating in a format like this, with Ryko, with Mega Hamster, with Sangan, and Morphing Jar, and just so many cards that the opponent wants to set. Three Noblemen of Crossout is going to be deadly. Three Smashing Ground as well, we are playing a smaller deck, and so we do need to get over larger threats. And then three copies of Solidarity. If you've never seen this card before, if you have only one original type of monster in your graveyard, all monsters you control at the same type gain 800 attack. That makes yellow gadget 2000 attack, red 21, green 22. This puts Machina Fortress to 3300 attack, which is massive, and gear frame 226. What's more is that if you limit a removal with solidarity, limit a removal checks current attack, not original. So this can just lead to an absolutely massive blowout. And then we move on to the traps. Two bottomless, three dimensional prison, a mirror force, two royal oppression, still one of the key cards of the format. If we're able to set up with some monsters, a Solidarity and a Royal Oppression, we may have the game on lock because Joseph may not be able to get over how big some of these monsters are, and Royal Oppression is just backbreaking as we've seen in prior episodes. A Judgment, a Starlight Road, Torrential Trap Dust Shoot finally makes its way into the main deck, and two copies of Ultimate Offering. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, Ultimate Offering only works for the player who is activating it. There's a lot of, you know, misconception around how this card works. I 
I even think in the early history of Yu-Gi-Oh! episodes, we did make it work reciprocally because initially that's how people thought it worked, so we kind of went by that, but now by this point, it's only the player who's actually controlling Ultimate Offering can use it, but this card is good both offensively and defensively. Because we have the gadgets, we can actually keep searching and summoning the gadgets with Ultimate Offering and go in for big damage, but defensively, if Joseph thinks he can kill us, we can Ultimate Offering summon a gadget in the battle phase, soak the hit, and then summon another gadget if we so wish. So this card is just deadly, and I really hope we get to show this off. For the extra deck, we have a bunch of synchros you've seen all the way up until this point, and a lot of by now. We're also playing three copies of Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. This is primarily for the mirror match, because obviously this is the most machine-focused deck. That's also why we're playing two Cyber Dragon and three Proto Cyber Dragon, but we know Joseph isn't playing that deck, so we're probably not going to side these in. We've got Triple Caius just for easy removal. It's pretty easy for us to keep monsters on the field in this deck, especially because the gadgets just keep getting pluses. We have a Cold Wave and a Heavy Storm for dealing with back row, two Dust Tornado in addition to that, two Shadow Imprisoning Mirror for the dark focused decks because there are a lot of those around at the time, and a second copy of Starlight Road in case we need to get some protection as well as get a Stardust Dragon to the field. So guys, that's going to do it for me. It's pretty straightforward. My deck is going to be much slower and much simpler compared to Joseph's, but you get to see two Titans of the format clash, and I can't wait to see the results. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. Somebody forgot to put on the shirt of shame for this episode when they were talking about their deck, Joseph. I don't know huh. who you're talking about. That could be anybody. Interesting. Uh, Interesting. You, know. you thought you won last episode? Huh. I, I, I got to be real with you. As soon as I activated the effect of Coelacanth, I just completely blacked out. I have no <laughs> idea what happened afterwards. I assumed that I won, uh, but, you know, I watched back the footage, and it turned out that was not even remotely the case. It's understandable. I think if you even just achieve that in and of itself, you probably should just go home. You should just get shipped a trophy, right? Exactly. Because the yeah, fact yeah. you were able to summon a two tribute monster in 2010, let alone activate and resolve the effect, that seems pretty good to me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Black Wings in the hands of you are a force to be reckoned with, but this time we are going to see if two of the most famous decks in Edison are going to be able to square off against each other. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. Super, this is actually my excited. first time playing gadgets in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! You're usually the gadget person, so uh, I get to play one of my old school favorite decks now. Uh, not Machina. I never really dabbled into that side of things because this is when I was on hiatus, of course, as, as were you. But how are you feeling about piloting that quick draw deck, buddy? A lot of combo lines you got to remember. It's super hard. I mean, um, if people have been following me on Twitch, they know I've been screwing this deck up like nobody's business. I'm going to have to oh, do perfect. this one without Twitch chat, which I know is just a huge hindrance. I mean, could I possibly figure out the lines that Twitch chat couldn't? They're just so smart. <laughs> They're infallible. They exactly. are just perfect beings that know every line imaginable. So I'm sure you'll do just fine without them. But we have to shout out our patrons. Shouts to Golan. Thank you for the support. Buddy, got the rock, paper, scissors up. What are you doing? Let me get a refresh for each token that you get off of Dandelion. So let me get two refreshes. Two refreshes. I like it. One and buddy... I <laughs> We got to find a new generator. <laughs> mm, do we? Do we have to? It was paper both other times. Oh, I don't want to hear it. Of course, of course. Oh, well, no big deal. I'm sure you're not going to set five trap cards and win the game. Oh, not at all. Who would ever do such a thing? Uh, I will draw for turn. Good luck, buddy. Uh, this is actually not what I was expecting when I was going to pick this deck up. I'm going to do a T set and pass. Go ahead. Uh, me too. Great. I promise Wonderful. I'm a combo deck. I promise I'm a combo deck. I, are you? I don't know. It doesn't look like it based off the way things are going so far. Uh, I'll go to main one. This is strange. Okay. Well, I'm going to assume that's a Raikou, I guess. Uh, I'm going to creature swap. Ah, it is not a Raikou, but it, it, it will eventually be a Raikou. You can have my super nimble mega hamster. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. What's this? Uh, oh, it's a this Machina guy. Peacekeeper. Sure. <laughs> it's the best card in my deck. Uh, not really much else I can do. So I think I'm just going to pass it over to you, buddy. Are you playing Raikou? I feel like you might be. Oh, thank God. That might unlock my hand. All right. We're going to begin with a Charge of the Light Brigade here. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty good. Sure. Right, Go ahead and for know. a uh, Volcanic Shell. Nope. That well, is, there's a Raikou. That's, uh, that's not what I was looking for. All right. I will add one card to my hand. Uh, I'll, I'll just shuffle it up real quick. Just shuffle it up real quick. I'll set one card. Could be anything. Could be anything. Uh, and then... Um, I don't know. We'll do this. You're good to go. Okay, we'll draw. Go to main one. Anything in standby? I guess no, I should ask no. this. You're fine. Okay. 
I'll go to main. Uh, since we are no longer under the restraints of creature swap, I will flip the super nimble mega hamster. <laughs> Will you activate the effect? Uh, I will not activate the effect. Oh. I mean, it activates, but I don't have a target, unfortunately. Thank so. <laughs> God. I was going to say, I mean, this is like the one deck in the format that's not playing this. I will attack my set monster. Not the Machina Peacekeeper. Actually, not the Machina Peacekeeper. I don't think you have anything going, do you? We're just chilling. We are just chilling. Uh, I'm going to dim Priz here. You know, I figured that could happen, so it is what it is. So your nimble mega <laughs> hamster has now entered the void. I will go to the second main and I will set a card and pass it over. Uh, stand by main. Got it, bit buddy. Uh, was not expecting this slow paced game that we were playing for this. I was expecting us to be throwing cards out left and right. And uh, it's just been a snooze fest for the first few turns. So says you, uh, it's about to become much less of a snooze fest. Uh, let's go for a cold wave here. This is gonna suck, uh, thinking. I may as well flip it. So I'll chain oppression. That's fine. New chain, I'll activate Ryko trigger the effect, and we'll pop the oppression. That is why this does not matter. Yes, go oh, ahead. Thank God we didn't have to deal with that. Oh, and right on Got time, the baby. Shell. Unbelievable. Wow. Now you're going to figure out the power of Volcanic's pain. Guide by hand. I'll pay 500. And from deck to hand, I will add Volcanic Shell. The one and only Volcanic Shell. But it's you about got to it, get buddy. a lot better. I'm going to pitch this Volcanic Shell to the graveyard to summon Quick Draw Synchron. Is this how it feels to summon Deep Sea King Coelacanth, buddy? Oh, this is how it feels. I'll activate the effect of Volcanic Shell again. We will add another one to hand. All good. Oh, God. And what do I want to do here? I could go Drill Warrior. That seems pretty sweet. So I could go for a seven. It would be Nitro Warrior. I mean, Nitro Warrior is really cool. Um, Nitro Warrior would send your Peacekeeper to the graveyard as well. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I am going to flip summon your Machina Peacekeeper. I'm going to activate the effect of Machina Peacekeeper targeting Quick Draw Synchron. Hilarious. It's a machine. Okay. <laughs> and then I will normal summon a Volcanic Shell. Sounds good. And then sync off the Shell and the Quick Draw for a copy of Drill Warrior. Sounds good. All right, we'll go to battle phase. I will attack for two and 24. And then second main, I will trigger the effect of the Drill Warrior. I want to be pitching the third volcanic shell here, but obviously I can't. Instead, I'm going to pitch the Mirror Force. Ooh, we'll Banish okay. the uh, Drill Warrior and uh, best of luck, buddy. All on you. Yeah, that's, uh, this is going to be rough. Uh, I'll go to main one. Go ahead. All right, stand by. I'll special summon my monster back. You will. All right, thank God. It's not another royal. Uh, we will activate the effect. I'm going to get the card trooper back to my hand. Sure. Uh, we'll go to main one. Sounds good. I'm s oh God, I'm so ahead. Oh, you're, you're, don't worry. You're ahead. You're ahead. Heavy. <sighs> there goes the judgment. Okay, sick. Um, I lost my bottom list for that. Let's go for card trooper here. I'll activate the Sounds effect. Sounds good. Ooh, whoa. Oh, that's crazy. I mean, uh, that's that's okay. That, that's fine. Uh, we'll go to combat. Uh, 1924. Am I dead? I don't think I'm dead You here. are not. Uh, I will not attack with the Raikou. Oh, uh, the you're Raikou no to fun. defense. We'll activate Drill Warrior, and you are good to go, my friend. Had to pitch a card in hand for that. Okay. Uh, do or die. I'll draw. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, main one. All right. We gotta. We gotta attempt to stabilize here. What are we gonna do? So Drill Warrior is gonna return. You get to add another monster back to hand, which is gross. You could add the Caius, uh, and then Caius can basically do some pretty gross things. All right, well, we're going to, after 10,000 years, normal summon a green gadget. Yeah, that's a pretty good play. Sounds good. Yeah, it only took till like turn eight to actually get one to the field. We are going to then activate Solidarity. Okay, Solidarity forever, baby. So this guy is uh -huh. a 2,200 attack point monster. He's about to be 3,000, actually, because oh, I have a second Solidarity, sure. uh, which, you know, is cool, but, you know, I don't know if it's very good. Uh, I can hit your Card Trooper for 26, which is sweet, and I think we might just have to do that. So I'll go to battle. We'll hit into the Trooper. This does give you a card, but I don't think there's much I could do about it. And then second main, I'm going to smash your Ryko. Wow. Okay. And then I'm going to set two and pass. Jesus. Draw Good luck. Turn. Stand by. We'll bring back the Drill Warrior. Bring him back. All right, main one. Yeah, we'll get the Debris Dragon here. Sounds good. Well, I'll trigger the effect of the Drill Warrior, having his attack to 1,200. I will attempt to go to the battle phase and attack directly. Yep. Good Woo! game, buddy. Oh, God, <laughs> I was hoping was... you'd forget that effect. <laughs> that uh, had the potential to go very poorly. Yeah, unfortunate. You got it. You got it.
Boy, that went exactly how I imagined that this was going to go. Uh, no gadget for nine turns, and my hand was all spells on the cold wave. That was not good. That was pretty lucky. <laughs> my hand was uh, was pretty bad, uh, and then a single shell mill unbricked the entire thing. Uh, really goes to I show mean, just how explosive these can be given the right uh, set of circumstances. Evidently. Uh, good luck, buddy. And I... What uh, is going mine is on? very strange. Oh, buddy ditto. <laughs> I don't know what's happening at this point. All right. Well, I am going to... I'm going to set three and pass my turn. Heavy storm me for my life, buddy. Uh, if you insist. Okay. Starlight Road. Oh, you are... You <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> Heavy storm me for my life, he says. Heavy storm me for this. Oh, God. That's so... Miserable. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. I'll take the Stardust Dragon. Okay. Um, We're going to pitch a Volcanic Shell for Quick Draw. That is fine. Uh, Volcanic Shell Effect. That's good. Let's go ahead and grab him. We're going to Normal Summon Shell. Sounds good. Uh, these two to the grave. We will make Drill Warrior. He has appeared. There he is. Is that okay? That's fine. I'll go for... Uh, the additional shell here. Sure. And uh, goodbye, Drill Warrior. Uh, see you next time. Uh, whoop. Let's uh, go ahead and set two. Go ahead, buddy. All right. Uh, end phase. We'll dust that one. You have got to be fucking with me. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> it was just a dust tornado. What are you worried about? Oh, uh, yeah. Main one. I will space the final one, though. Awesome. I really needed that one, too. Okay. Um, that was what I was worried about, because I know D prisons in this format. Oh, for 25. Oh, yeah. That's uh, really rough. Uh, that was 250, sir. Take the other 2250. Uh, are, you, are you sure? Do I have to? Yeah, I'm sure. I, I would appreciate if you did. Uh, second main. I'll set one. Go ahead. Stand by. Let's bring back our friend. Sounds good. I don't know. Let's add... Add the shell. I think that I think you really want the shell. Yeah, I think I do too. We're going for quick draw. <laughs> sure. Sounds good. Main one, let's go card trooper. Sounds good. Mill the three. All right. Hoping for the best here. That's okay. pretty good. I don't know. Let's, um, let's head out again. Go ahead. You just keep tagging him out. Stand by main. Jesus Christ. Can we get something a little bit better? All right. Uh, hit. I'll take 21 here. Yep. 21. And you will get to draw a card. Not great. Go ahead. One Stardust to rule them all. He's back. What are you going to add? This time I'm adding debris. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're going to Drill Warrior our way out of here. Pitching Raiko. Okay. Uh, then we're going to Normal Debris Dragon. Is that okay? Sounds good. going to bring back Card Trooper. Sure. You're going to sync off for... Let's go Black Rose. Um, I will activate the effect. I'll negate. That's fine. Uh, I am going to send Raiko and summon Quick Draw and Defense. Go ahead. Now, question. Do I get the Stardust <laughs> back? The answer is no! I figured. I figured. That's fine. Uh, we'll draw. I mean, I had to protect anyway, right. so... We'll go to main one. Uh, I did get a gadget finally, so oh, we can get shit. this train going. Okay. Stardust stalled enough for us to get that. Uh, your Drill Warrior will be returning to us momentarily, though. So do you have to figure out what we're going to do about that? Uh, you have nothing else that you're working with. What do we want to do? I think I just want to get the pressure on you. I'm going to smash your quick draw. Oh, my God. Sure. Let's hit for 13. Yep. And uh, I'll just pass. Go ahead. Stand by main. Grab Bring him back. back. All right, um, we're going to get debris. Okay, we're going to normal debris here. Trigger the effect. Let's go get uh, the card trooper. Going to go for the again. We have a yep. sand gun engraved? How the hell did I get a you sand You do have a sand gun engraved. Where did I get a You sand milled gun? it off of the card trooper, didn't you? Oh, my God. I could have been using sand gun this entire time. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I don't think it actually even does anything for me here. We're getting another card. seems like it does something for you. Does it negate the effect? What does negate the effects mean on Debris Dragon? Uh, so it negates effects that are that activate on the field but resolve in the graveyard. So sand gun is fine. I should have been checking my graveyard. Damn, I'm dumb. Okay. These two to the grave will make, uh, I don't know, ancient fairy dragon. Big one. Yep. Uh, then we will go grab ourselves a dandelion. Uh, we're going to go drill warrior here. We're going to banish or we're going to send dandelion. Can you get your tokens? We are. Then you are good to go. We will draw. Let's go to main one. Uh, I will... Run out the yellow. Yep. Let's go ahead and grab our good old friend green here. Uh, we'll go to battle. We'll hit into both of your tokens. Sure. Appreciate it. And then second main. Uh, yeah, this seems like an okay opportunity. Uh, I'll creature swap. Uh, sure. 
I'll take your ancient fairy. You get the yellow gadget. I'll set one and I'll throw it over to you. Stand by, I'll bring back my friend. I will oppression. Hmm, that's bad. That is bad. Damn, I had just stabilized too. All right, um, it's conditional then as well. All right, let's go Pot of Avarice. That's a good draw at least, sure. Uh, we're gonna put back- All the shells. We're gonna put back two shells. Okay. Uh, I think probably the Black Rose. Uh, Might need that again. Let's go Card Trooper, Quick Draw. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Uh, you are good to go. All right, uh, we'll draw. Yep. Stand by main. Uh, I think we can wrap this one up. Let's knock the set. You have got it. Yep. There we go. All right, game three, buddy. Game three. I made a lot of misplays that time. I wasn't activating um, the effect of uh, the reborn copy of card trooper i didn't go for the sand can but in my defense i was basically playing on tilt the entire game because of the goddamn stardust dragon <laughs> understandably i think that happens to the best of us for sure mm, i hope it happens to you again all right stand by me i bet oh all god good. this is a little less exciting than i had hoped let's go for this three shells for this christ you are good to go Anything standby. No. Okay. Gonna main one. Yep. Uh, let's knock this set. It is Sangan. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm happy to see that. That's fine. Uh, just the ability to recycle that with debris gets kind of gross. Uh, let's go ahead and run out a red gadget. Yep. We actually opened the gadget for once, and there's nine of them. So Sick. finally, it's paying off. Uh, we'll go to battle. We'll hit. I'll take 13 here. Yeah, 13 not the end of the world, I feel. Second main, uh, I will just set myself a card. I'll throw it over to you. Stand by me. All good. I will normal card trooper here. Sure. I'll go for the effect. Ooh. Are you fucking with me? Ha happy to see that. <laughs> Holy shit. That has got to be a joke. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's try and get in. Uh, I will prison. That is just the worst possible thing that could have happened. Go ahead. Okay, I'll draw. Uh, main one here. Okay, I'll bring out a yellow. Yep, that's, that fine? that's fine, yeah. Okay, uh, we'll go for the green. Yep. And we'll go to battle. Uh, we'll tip for 25, if you'll allow it. I will allow it. Uh, second main, I think I will set a, another card, and we'll throw it over to you. Stand by main. Oh, time to get defensive. Foolish burial. Foolish burial's fine. You gonna send a dandy? Uh, I am, yes. <laughs> okay, sure. This is less ideal than I would have hoped. Go ahead. At least you've got some back row. We'll draw. Yep. Oh, well, guess no reason to do anything else. Bring out green. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's grab the good old red. If I can find him, there he is. And we'll go into battle. Yes. Uh, we'll hit one. I will mirror force here. Uh, I'll judgment the mirror force. Uh, so kill a token. Sounds good. Kill another token. Yes. Uh, and then we will attempt to hit this. It is, it is Ryko. I'll pop sure. green here. Okay. Get rid of the biggest one and mill your three. Okay. Your titanial's gone. Uh, second main. Uh, I will set one. Throw it over to you, buddy. Stand by main. All good. Cold wave. Gross. Yep. Um, volcanic shell to the graveyard for a quick draw synchron. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, shell effect. And then bring uh, him on out. We will sink here. Go for the drill. Indeed. Uh, Sounds good. Ooh. This is tough. I want to go for the shell effect here. Your life points are starting to get a little low. They are. They're getting quite low. What are the chances? What are the chances? Indeed. You would have to have exactly Machina Fortress. You would have had to have held off on it for a couple of really important turns. Okay, well, we're always doing this. We're always attacking into the uh, red gadget here. Okay, so I'll take 11 from this. And this is where decisions have to be made. And how much do I really need to make a decision? There's no way you can kill the Drill Warrior unless you have Machina Fortress. If you have Machina Fortress, honestly, I'm probably dead anyway. If you have Machina <laughs> Fortress, you have Machina Fortress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go for the uh, shell here. Going for it. Okay. All right. We'll we'll uh, we'll banish the Drill Warrior, pitch the shell. See you next turn, buddy. Sure. Uh, we'll go to main one. Yep. I will run out a good old red gadget. That's fine. Let's grab a yellow. Yep. You call it, buddy. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I even have a dimensional prison, but I'm under cold wave. 
you are under cold wave. That's why I felt pretty confident. As soon as you started going through the motions, I was like, oh, he better be careful here. But uh, wow, I, I'm dead anyway. If I don't uh, no yeah. way to recover. Oh, that was painful. That was rough. That was rough. That, I mean, the mills were not in your favor. And definitely the game two, I think that that could have definitely gone much differently because had you been getting Sangam back with debris, you could have had another extra card. Uh, I mean, there, there could have been, I had nothing going on for me. I literally just had Stardust in back row and nothing else. So if you had any way to start pushing through, then that would have just completely shifted in your favor. So I think the game two was definitely uh, much more aligned that way. This game three though, I don't know. The the, the mills um, did not go very well for you. <laughs> what's, your, what's your set card here? This was just a creature swap. Oh fuck, I thought about not cold waving because I was like, you probably would have set anything relevant. And I guess that was the play. If it makes you feel any better, I would have oh, just a hundred percent done one of these two just to ensure that this was going right, to go. Well, through. never mind. So that that does make yeah. me feel better. Damn, and we had it yeah. from here on out. Quick draw or uh, debris dragon dandy in the grave for every subsequent turn. I think we really got to show off like why both of these decks are so strong, though. I mean, especially I'm very happy you played these volcanic shells because even oh, though they, they were weren't crazy. in Jeff Jones's first place list from SJC Edison, this is just absurd, right? The fact that you just get this immediate two card combo that goes net neutral on advantage that just gets drill warrior cycling and yeah. then once drill warrior gets going i mean this card in this this seems like a card ahead of its time to me mm -hmm. the fact that it has the ability to just like tag out like this sort of like wind up rabbit like effect mm -hmm. i mean crazy and it gets you cards back on top of it mm -hmm. No, uh, absolutely killer. I, I just, if I had played game two a little bit different, maybe we would have seen a different outcome, but uh, woof. I mean, this, the uh, Mac and a Gadget list is really cool because it's playing so many of the cards that um that make this matchup difficult, like the Royal Oppressions, unbelievable amount of pressure it can put on decks with the gadgets and through something like a Mirror Force, which otherwise would be a sort of a catastrophe for it. No, absolutely. I mean, the fact that just every single turn, assuming you see a gadget, mm -hmm. then you're just going to start just getting everything online because you never have to worry about your normal summon you always have it which means you're free to draw all the back row in the deck and the deck plays like somewhere in the neighborhood of like 12 back row i think you know when you're counting all the traps plus maybe like some of the spells as well mm -hmm. and you just have such a variety i mean you have cards that can basically answer everything and the fact that you can play triple knock triple smashing ground and then triple creature swap as well even if you establish with a big monster on your field i can just give you a gadget or a machina peacekeeper and just creature swap it over and then i get to take your biggest dude from my smallest so it just has this really nice control game going for it but i love that you have this explosive you know sort of just big combo deck that is also fighting for the board as well versus the sort of just very slow to get to its game plan going uh just advantage generation engine in the machina gadget deck the, the the matchup just seems like very back and forth and you know just if you have the opportunity to go big then like before i have the opportunity to set up then you can just take over the game and vice versa is also true right oh, yeah. i mean i think this was a lot of fun and honestly i mean i play another few matches of this i i would absolutely love to uh, we definitely should ask for uh for input so let us know what you want to see in the comments but yeah i would i would 100 percent keep playing this like you said this deck is just um it's so explosive when given the room to flex and i didn't get to draw the absolute killer card in this matchup the uh the cyber dragon cyber dragon you milled it last time yeah, yes yeah, yeah. this card paired with chimera tech fortress dragon is just absolute it's game over it is just so impossible to come back from like this and i believe you're also side decking system down if my memory serves oh, no, correctly i'm not side decking that crappy card oh okay never mind well i mean cyber dragon i guess effectively does the same thing anyway but i mean th this card just eats up live my entire board and there's really nothing i can do about it there's a few Caius's in the side deck I could go into to like possibly play around it. Mm. But you know, you kind of don't really have to, you don't really ever put anything out that like, I want to Caius all that much. And you know, it's fine. I mean, just to play around like something like Chimera tech might be the only reason, but other than that, I mean, I think this is just, we've been having so much fun in Edison oh, yeah. Joseph. Oh, and yeah. I, even if we stayed here another several weeks, I'm fine with it because each episode, it brings new decks and it just seems like we just fall in love with the format all over again. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. There's still a lot to explore and a lot of fun stuff to discover. And I would 100% be on board for just continuing. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the History of Yu-Gi-Oh! If you are looking to see more Edison format, be sure to let us know down in the comments because we still have like, what, Joseph, like eight or 10 decks that we could go through oh, 
we absolutely wanted to. Mm -hmm. And, you know, each deck is just something new and something fun. And I think that's why everyone loves this format, at least the diehard fans who have been playing it up until now. And for a lot of us, like Joseph and I, who've just been discovering it for the first time, we're starting to see why that's the case. So we have to shout the patrons as always. Big shout to Shout1317, Moto, Sean Arling Jr., Cameron Smith, Angeoko, Tim Zero Zero X3, Ike Iron Fake, Pody Starkey, and Musa, Michael Dente, Part 2, Dan the Man Hoban, Synchro Guy, Ole, Mystic Walk, Sylvia Wilds, Draconic, Rock Slide, Dolly Wop, Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Thomas Nelson, Cole T, Jordan Coons, Calvin, Iron Bladesman, Pure Ace, Jesse Wood, True Nerd, Gazin, Brother Paul, Chris Hood, Lumpy, Nehru Celeste, David Liu, Rockley 325, Yusuf Vaslin 05, Lane Rogers, Chat God, Sound Agent 216, I Side and Grand Maju and Salad, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Brett Harvey, John Two Base, App at the Astro, Brody Eastwood, Day Zero, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Give Me Speed Reuter, Give Me Death, MBT's Hard Like, Asling Jensen, TC Gaming, Matthew Brady, Edison Format, and Tom Russell. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.